yesterday afternoon I painted all the little places on the bow that I thought needed to be painted. And uh, at first I thought, well, it looks pretty good. It looks like a little bit blotchy, but it kind of looks like weathering. But uh, now that a few hours has passed, in other words, it's, it's <laughs> this morning, uh, it, uh, it just looks too blotchy, and I'm going to go over everything again and give it another coat. Uh, we'll see how it looks. The second coat is on. And as you can see, I've got to go around with my deck tan and uh, cover up places where I got down onto the, onto the deck. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just hoping that the deck tan is not going to wick its way up the side and then I have to put the gray on to cover the deck tan, but I don't think so. I'm just going to do the the real obvious bad places, anything that's not, uh, you know, that's not too bad, I'm just going to leave it. Uh, our snow is melting here in Winnipeg. In fact, uh, next week it's supposed to get up to about 13 degrees, so they say, and I hope they're right. Um, now that's 13 degrees Celsius, <laughs> not Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, so, and tonight is Halloween, by the way. Uh, this is going to be the first Halloween that uh, we have not handed out candy that I can remember. Um, probably for the last 45, 50 years or so, we've handed out candy every Halloween. But because of this COVID thing, we've opted not to do that. Everybody that I've talked to so far, my neighbors and and what have you, they're, they're going to just turn out their lights and, you know, pretend they're not home. I mean, what else are you going to do? I wish that the uh, province or the government would say, hey, no Halloween this year, and, and that's the law. It would make it really easy for those parents that are trying to, uh, you know, protect their kids. Um, anyway, I guess there will be a few kids, uh, you know, pounding on the door, but what are you going to do? Uh, yeah, anyway. I've been all around the deck there with my little triple zero paintbrush and I've touched up where the deck tan needed touching up. And I don't see anything jumping out at me, nothing glaring. Our uh, breakwaters are on. In fact, all of the pieces from steps 19 and 20 are on. Now, if you think I'm going to be putting on the macro lens and doing a nice close-up job to show you the uh, painting I did by hand there, you can forget it. Nothing looks good under the macro lens. It just looks big. I use the extra thin everywhere, except on those two very small photo etch wheels that were a part of the uh, anchor chain capsons. I guess they're part of the braking mechanism, most likely. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, and when I was using the extra thin, especially around the breakwaters, I was a little bit concerned because what was happening was there was a bit of, you might say, bleeding going on. Um, you know, where the gray was sort of running into the deck tan. But, you know, it, it almost looks like weathering. It's very, very slight, very, very subtle. And uh, I'm actually quite pleased with it. It's, it was, uh, first I was thinking, oh no. But, you know, now I'm thinking, oh yes. Now there might be some of you wondering now, how did old Ron do that? Well, a lot of you know. You, you were with me when we did the Bismarck and we made this apparatus up out of scraps out of the workshop downstairs. Anyway, this, this is how I did it. The trick is to try and keep it moving smoothly. And that's how I did it. As far as I can tell here, we've got all the pieces on for steps 19 and 20. Well, there wasn't very many, right? Um, yeah, and uh, everything went pretty good for the most part. Um, all right, let's turn the page. Step 21. And there's a whole slew of little pieces here. More G4s and G7s. 
another capsule. Well, you know what? I'm just going to get to work and I'm going to cut everything off. I'm going to trim it, paint it, get it over with. Next time you see uh, this page, there should be a whole bunch of little parts ready to stick on the on the uh, deck there. Uh, yeah, and it's going to look even more finished off. But that's going to have to be tomorrow. Thanks for watching. All being well, we'll see you tomorrow. And happy Halloween!